Welcome to the tutorial on how to use System Restore by Word X8. System Restore is a very useful Windows utility you can use to save all your data on your computer. And to access System Restore, go to Start and right click My Computer and hit Properties, which is the last option. This will bring up a System Properties box. Click the System Restore tab and you'll see all the options you can do to use System Restore. And on the top of it, you'll see Turn Off System Restore on All Drives with a check mark next to it. If this is checked, then uncheck it. If it's ch not checked, then you already have System Restore active on your computer. After you make sure it's not checked, hit Apply. After that's all set up, you'll see that the Settings option has stopped being gray. You can now click it and you can click it and you can choose how much percent of the hard drive you want to use for your system restore and depending on how much of your space in the computer you want how much free space you want you can de determine how much you want how much uh, space that system restore will use up so if you don't have much hard drive and you want to save it then you can put it on the minimum if you want a lot you can put it on the maximum and what this will do is if you put it on a maximum then it'll create a system restore point every single day so you'll, it'll be a lot easier to restore your computer and you won't lose as much files if your computer becomes corrupt but if you put it on the minimum then what it'll do is it'll save over every day and so if it's corrupt a couple days ago and you just realized it today then that would not be a good option so depending on your interests or preferences just put it wherever you want it and click OK and then they'll save it It'll save a system restore point of all the hard drives you have whenever it needs to. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If something's wrong with the computer, such as you have a virus or a worm or something like that, or if you mess around with the computer settings and mess up your computer, then to activate system restore and restore a computer to a previous point, you go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, System Restore. This will bring your computer to a system restore option, and what you can do is you have two options from this point. You can create a, a restore point, and what it'll do is it'll take a screenshot of your computer as it is, and then you you can restore it in the future to this point. And this will be this is very useful if you're messing around with your computer or you're gonna try to tweak your computer and do something you haven't done before. It's good to create a system restore point before you mess with the computer, just in case you do something wrong. And to create it, just hit next, and it'll screenshot your computer. And if you want to restore your computer to an earlier time, you click the first option, and you click next. It'll bring up a calendar of, and today's date will be highlighted. And what you can do is you have an option to click the date, the previous days, and you can change it. You can change system restore. Now in this case, I deactivated it, so all the previous restore points were deleted. But basically what you can do is you can click the dates before you if it's active and you can select what you want the restore point to be. And in this case, as soon as it activated system restore, it created a system checkpoint. So I could just select this and hit next and then restore it to that point. Now at this point, it will basically close you out of Windows and it'll put your computer to the previous point. Do not shut down the computer or mess around with the computer while it's doing that. It'll automatically restart, and then you can use the computer, but do not shut it down while it's restoring it. I myself accidentally shut it down, basically, and I have one computer that's hard drive is ruined. So, learn from my mistake and don't do that. I plan on making more computer-related videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about a specific topic, please send me a message via YouTube. If I feel that it's a good topic, then I'll make a video on it and post it. Please rate and comment this video. If you like this video, then subscribe to my channel. I may make more videos in the future that you may like. My YouTube account is youtube.com slash x 8 My River account is river.com slash u slash x 8 Thanks for watching.